So here we're looking at the HD 1605. So it looks a lot like an HD 1603 by Resilinx, but it has a few obvious differences. The main one being those white and red cables coming out the back. So this is just like an HD 1603 with audio delay in this case. So used for pubs and clubs and that kind of thing. I won't go through too many of the features, but let's go through a couple of them. Password, four zeros, we get into the menu. Common setup, so output channel is still 39 like all of them. There's the interesting bit, the delayed audio. So here we are at 210. Now if I go to YouTube, so here what we've got is we've got the audio output out of the 1605. We've got a YouTube of an audio sync test. That white and red cable is going into a powered Intel speaker. Let me just pump up the volume on this one a little bit. All right, there we go. So one of the issues is that videos do a lot of processing and audio, well, it doesn't do the same level of processing. So, back to the 40 password, common setup, the delay, and if I drop that delay back down to, well, we'll drop it all the way down to zero. And so now, see how that ball is not quite touching? That's bad. So then we go to the delay. We had this one at about 210, which seemed about right. And when the ball, when the ball hits a zero, you should hear the noise. And that looks about perfect. So that's the audio delay. The other features are pretty much the same as a normal um, 1603. Um, let's go into a, a few of the other main menu. RF setup, we can ignore, ignore, ignore. TSID, if you're putting multiple together, remember to change the TSID. Back, and the encoder setup. The channel name, change that to whatever it is. Bouncing ball, if you want. LCN, remember if you're stacking them together. So this will be by default 101, but if you're going a second channel, make it 102, a third channel 103. And ignore the rest of those features. One of the other things to remember is this one has um, a remote setup. Let me turn down the volume on that annoying bouncing ball. And so that remote setup is, we've got it set up here this is for the four channel but this is a nice easy screen and we can do those same things but just on a screen here so it's nice and simple